Chris says he's only put three hours on that chain guide. I'm calling BS. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to warranty it out yeah. and say he just was just unloading it from his truck. But I'm I'm think I'm thinking there's more to the story. <laughs> Look, looking at the looking at the the tab the tab guards the bulletproof ones too man that's you've not new that's old that's, that's been on 110 hours 110 hours okay that's okay oh for those of you that don't know that's trailbound Chris he's a stud rider way better than me more of a hard enduro type guy and I'm following him and uh, his buddy Alec here and we're going up in the mountains I've got a few guys on this ride this is the 2020 KTM 300 XC. TPI bike that you guys are going to win. If you haven't entered to win this bike, I don't know what you're doing. You got to go over to dirtbikechannel.com right now before December 15th and enter to win this bike. The thing is amazing. It's incredible. And this was um, the second to last time I ever rode the bike. This was back on September 6th or something. I think it was when we did this ride. And I've only ridden the bike one time after this, so I'm not wearing your bike out. It's still good to go. Um, but uh, we did have to put some, you know, hard testing on this thing to make sure she was, uh, she was seaworthy for you guys, and she is. This is hard breathing, uh, hard enduro style riding up in uh, central northern mid-Idaho. I can't remember. I, I know where it is. Email me, and I can tell you where these trails are. I can show you where to get the the link for some maps for some of these trails up here. Pretty stinking awesome stuff. Getting a little breather here in between the freaking Ayersberg sessions. not ugly. to show you the view from the bottom of that uh, switchback down here by this natural lake. It was pretty stinking ugly. You know, days like uh, this day on this ride were pretty stinking epic because at the beginning of the day, we had some more technical stuff and where we were kind of sweating and hopping over logs and, and uh, hopping over some slick rocks and everything and working our way up these canyons. And then we had some other stuff where it was a little bit faster, more wide open like this to kind of catch, catch your breath. We had great dirt, but the views were just absolutely incredible. And it's one of the things that I love so much about dirt bikes, as you guys know, it's just the places that they can take us. And then because we had had uh, rain the night before, there was no dust, essentially. And you could, you could uh, you know, just follow pretty close together. So we had, I think there were six guys. Were there six of us um, together? And we're all riding closely together because we can, because there's no dust, you know? So uh, the, the great thing about, one of the great things about this particular bike and the one that you can win here that I'm gonna be giving away is just the balance. The thing that I love so much about these KTM XC bikes is how balanced they feel. They can do the hard stuff, uh, the hard slow going stuff, and they can also do the faster, more flowing stuff. 
which is just really, really great. Um, and if you use, I keep touting this, but if you use a little bit lower pressures in your air fork, your exact fork uh, from WP, you're probably going to have a better, uh, a better time with it um, overall than if you run like the stock, you know, 139 or 140. Uh, nine pounds of pressure. Obviously, if you're a 250 pound guy, uh, you may be able to get away with uh, 139 psi. But me at 165, 170 with before gear, I'm running a lot less pressure. 118 on this day uh, is what I ran at the truck on a stand. So I love the bike. Um, I'm not looking forward to giving it away, but it is going to go to a good home here really soon. Uh, December 15th is when the sweepstakes for this bike stops. Uh, I'm also giving away that 2019 KTM 250 XC, so there's two bikes up for grabs, and then eight other people are going to win $100 gift cards. Uh, so that should be pretty stinking sweet. Head over to dirtbikechannel.com right now. I've got all the details over there. There's also a mail-in entry in order to win these bikes, so no, no purchase is necessary, but that does not help support my family, and it does not help pay for the next giveaway. So if everyone just did the mail-in option, these things would go away because I can't pay for it off the mail-in entry option. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, and uh, wherever you go, let's leave a single track. Later.